Guys, F1 SimVids here. Just going to show you a quick tutorial video on how to set up Sim dashboard. Um, so, thing first thing you want to do is search for Sim dashboard, and here it is. Just install it. Obviously, I've already got it installed, so I've got it. I'll just click on open, and then when you click on the side, it probably will say um, the price of it, like twelve forty nine, or the individual price of unlocking um, that particular game. Um, obviously what I recommend doing is um, just probably unlocking everything, the pro version, which costs like 12 49 So I'd purchase that. Um, and then once you're done, just click on settings, go all the way to general, which you're already here. Select your gaming platform. For me, it's PC, so I just click on PC. Um, and then click on set up your PC. Next, uh, Wi Fi setup, um, network connection, yeah. Uh, automatic setup and then it would search for your PC and if, if you're on a PS4 it would probably just pick up your PS4 as well then you just click here click on next and then it will just test it um, there you go it's working then you click on next and then what what I'd do is just note down your IP address on a piece of paper um, because when you go on the sim dashboard uh, when you go on F1 2018 or whatever game it will ask you to um, put in <coughs> put in your IP address. Okay. Click on next. A uh, game configuration. I'm just going to take it to my PC now, but um, generally I'll just click on OK. I'll check that. And click on next, and then finish. Right, so guys, I'm back on the Sim Dashboard app. Uh, what you can see in front of you is just a design that I've created. And this is an old design I created, and this is a new one I created recently. Um, I am going to share this design, so you will be able to search for it. If you just search for F1 SimVids uh, design or F1 2018, you should find it. You'll be able to download it. Um, so what you can do is, now let's, let's create a new, add an empty page. You can add a widget or design so you can either choose from another game from a template um, so if I could quickly show you a template um, and then if you click on community um, like as you can see loads of people have created a design uh, for F1 2018 and stuff pick one or if you want to make your own then just go back here and click on add a widget design from scratch and then over here is when you do all the crazy stuff. So I'm not going to do anything, but I'll give you a quick tour on what to do. So um, first thing you do is choose a background. So you might click on this one, for example. Um, you can change the color and everything and whatnot. Um, but I'll just do that. And then click on Add Widget Design again. Now here's when you can choose whatever you want. Again, I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, so I think I would prefer these F1 LED lights. Um, you can choose, I'm just going to leave it as ultra bright and then you can choose the low LED colors and stuff completely up to you, I'm just going to leave it how it is click on OK and then you just move it to wherever you want and then you can resize, rotate as well if you want to uh, but you wouldn't want to do that and then yeah, just zoom in to whatever fits your screen that looks fine for me and then yeah, and then again click on another add widget design Again, whatever you want, there's all this stuff here, tire wear, uh, damage, what tire compound you're on, brake temperature, front brake bias, you've got your fuel stuff, rich, mix, um, whatever you want to choose, physics, um, F1 TV style, throttle input, brake input, clutch input, steering, steering, uh, G-force, 
all of that stuff you can add whatever you want on your screen um, again here's the ERS stuff um, all of this is here pit limiter DRS light traction control timetables delta times everything uh, session type current flag uh, safety car flag safety car delta all of this stuff your position track map laps penalties and then you've got a lot of other stuff like you can add your own text to it so for example when you're adding timing stuff you might just want to add a label showing um what that timing's for um so you've got all of that and you can also add a custom image from your gallery or whatever um, but if we go back to my design so let me just um let me just swipe back to my design so just just to quickly talk you through my design um on the top right i have like um the damage stuff so this car here is all the damage stuff on the top right so if my um, tires are damaged it will show it if my front wings damaged it will show it on the top left is where i have my tire temperatures so engine temperature as well so obviously the colors yellow green um, and red if it's bad and i've got the dis light which will shine uh, red when it's able to be activated and when i activate it will go to green session time current lap time previous lap best lap record uh, this white box of the dash is based on the position um, the thing beneath it is the laps and the thing beneath it is the fuel I've also got ERS as none here and then underneath is you can't see it but it's just like the fuel mixture that I'm using so you can do all of that you can play around with it and as I said you can download whatever one you want from the community as I said I will upload this one this is my other one that I first created uh, which I don't really use anymore because um, I just prefer this one it's got more information but um, as your full screen you can always swipe and choose whichever one you want